Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be comparing two similar programs for cleaning up your computer. So the first on the left is CC Cleaner Free, um, which does have pro versions that include some of the same features you would find in System Mechanic, and then System Mechanic by Iolo over here is a paid program. I got it uh, personally from the Humble Bundle, but I think they're running $40 as their base price for the program. Um, and the things that these two programs do include kind of a collection of different tools. So having the ability to clean out junk files, which would mean your web browsers, uh, your temporary folders on your computer, and any other areas where there's just information that does not need to be there any longer because it was temporary for one reason or another. Uh, they both have that. Um, also, registry tools. You can see uh, registry issues down here and the toolbox for a system mechanic uh, registry cleanup is going to be roughly the same thing you got going on here with the registry cleaner inside of CC Cleaner. Um, and then System Mechanic also has some other tools such as uh, the ability to have maintenance run automatically, um, to have life boost which is supposed to kind of prevent lags on your processor and optimize its speed. Um, though honestly, I, I'm not sure about how much performance gain it's really been having because I haven't noticed any dramatic increase, but it, it's there anyway. Um, probably want to check a benchmark for that if that interests you. Um, and then some other miscellaneous tools like uh, being able to go through your startup programs and turn off some that uh, may be slowing your computer's boot time down. Um, and what I would say at the end of the day, what I actually end up using these two tools for um, is usually just to have it go and clean out things. So that means uh, cleaning up temporary files and cleaning the registry. Um, in, in, in CC Cleaner, I think they might be lacking some of the tools that you have over here when it comes to optimizing your computer's speed, like the real-time status and real-time boosting. Um, but yeah, once again, I haven't noticed a dramatic increase um, in my computer speed. So really, at the end of the day, you got these two tools. And uh, cleaning up your uh, downloaded stuff that, you know, um, is just spending gigabytes and gigabytes on your computer is nice to have. And yeah, you should have the uh, different applications on your computer like Thunderbird or Google Chrome close. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you can analyze different things simultaneously over here at the same time. I would say that System Mechanic is looking at more stuff, because really over here, it, it's kind of just a collection of cookies, caches, temporary files, and stuff like that. Um, but over on the right, they're checking your memory. Um, registry issues simultaneously, but yeah, once again, you can get that in CC Cleaner. Uh, security vulnerabilities, broken internet connection, and that kind of thing. Um, I, I guess I would point out oops, hard drive defragmentation uh, might be one of the more useful things that it, well let's go ahead and check um, yes close that there is definitely a, a defragmenter that's built into the latest versions of Windows so it's not like you exactly need that tool but it can automatically run for you I kind of wish that the analysis didn't go ahead and slow down the computer but here we can see um, kind of the different files that it would clean up so log files uh, Google Chrome internet cache and uh, possibly old downloads. But let's go ahead and take a look because uh, I think there's something in here about uh, defragmenting computers. Maybe not. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Maybe in the pro versions. But we could, of course, just go over here and type in defragment and optimize drives, and then you have basically the built-in Windows tool. So that's where kind of, um, yeah, it's nice that it will run automatically for you, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of doing things that are already there. And that's kind of one of the problem I have with these tools. Yes, it might kind of group some things together, like cleaning up everything simultaneously, but it's not like you can't clear your cache in your web browser. It's not like you can't go into the downloads folder and clean up what you have there. Um, so I guess probably the, the thing I use them the most for, where it would be really hard and dangerous to fix, is probably the registry cleaner. So I went ahead and ran this earlier, so it's only going to be a few problems, if any. Um, 
but cleaning up registry, making sure that everything in there is accurate and removing any unused uh, kind of, uh, what do you call them, uh, registry entries, it's not a bad thing to have. So uh, with CC Cleaner though, would point out, you can actually back up the changes to the registry. So here I just saved that there. Fix all selected issues, that's done. And in System Mechanic, it does fix the registry, but I have not seen a tool to actually back up the changes, which I think is something that should be there, definitely, because if somehow the program did mess things up, it is pretty much a pain in the butt to go back and manually edit the registry. So I don't want to rant on too much more here. Um, my opinion of the programs is that it's nice to have a tool like these that can kind of do some of these um, kind of just computer computer maintenance tasks. But the stuff that they offer in the System Mechanic Pro version, I, I don't know if it really justifies the cost that you're paying for it uh, if you buy it retail at $40. Um, but at the same time, I would have after looking at the list of what CC Cleaner has, if you upgrade to the Pro version, it's like, uh, I think they have automatic cleaning for your computer, so it's similar to Registry Mechanic in that regard. But honestly, do you really need it to be running every couple days? Um, like, is it worth spending 25 plus dollars just to have it run automatically rather than just, you know, it occurring to you every once in a while as you put a lot of stuff in your recycle bin? Um, that you can right click on your recycle bin and just hit run cleaner and then you're done. And it's not really that hard to go ahead and do that. So I, I feel like the automation that they provide, it, it's not a bad thing to have, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. And uh, speaking of that right click trick, that is one cool thing I really like about CC Cleaner. Um, they add this shortcut in the menu where you can either open it or you can run the CC Cleaner. And I think that just automatically cleans up all your files without really prompting you for anything else, uh, just cleaning up the temporary stuff, the caches. But I, I do like that it adds it to the recycle bin because it makes it really easy to just go ahead and run that. Um, whereas I, I think going to the start menu is a little bit more of a pain in the butt. For, for something you're just thinking of every once in a while and you want it to run, that's fine. So let's talk a little bit more about System Mechanic over here. Um, hard drive defragmentation. It says overdue, but I think I was running it like the other day or something like that, so I don't really know about that. But um, let's see. Maybe clean up the junk files. Yeah, go ahead and do that. And it can go through this. In a way, it's nice that it gives you this list down here where you can just kind of procedurally go through it, um, check off all the things, and be done. But although it feels good to go ahead and do this stuff, at the end of the day, how much is it really speeding up your computer? How much is it really freeing for you? Uh, versus how much of it is just kind of the satisfaction of getting a warning message where it's like, oh, everything's messed up on your computer. And yeah, where it says like, oh, yeah, you have 12 potentially unwanted startup programs. We can take a look at that. So what do I have here? It's like Adobe Acrobat. Uh, Avira, which is antivirus, uh, CC Cleaner, M maybe I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, the competitor is a dangerous startup program. Uh, possible. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, other things like Rosetta Stone Demon. So, like, you see the message that it's 12 possible unwanted startup programs, but the reality is that a lot of this stuff, it, it doesn't really need to be changed. Maybe you can turn this off if you want. Um, but yeah, kind of in conclusion, I do feel like a lot of those messages are, I wouldn't say undesirable, but a little bit exaggerated. So maybe I can go ahead and do the defragmentation here, but I know for a fact my computer hard drive isn't that defragmented, so it's kind of overstating how bad the problems really are. So uh, that's kind of my two cents of CC Cleaner. Uh, versus System Mechanic. Before I had the chance to try out System Mechanic, I was using CC Cleaner, and I, I think probably by the time that my uh, license expires for System Mechanic, I would go back to CC Cleaner 3, just because I don't really feel that there's much of a need for any of this automation stuff, but m maybe that's the kind of thing that you are looking for, and maybe you look into the benchmarks for Live Boost, and it turns out, hey, it is a sizable boost for your computer performance. I personally haven't experienced that, 
But um, yeah, hopefully that gives you guys something to think about. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this review of CC Cleaner and System Mechanic, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.